What's going on Epic Gardeners? Today we're learning about how many seeds should you plant per hole when you're trying to get good germination rates and a really healthy seedling. So let's get into it. The first thing that we need to talk about is mathematics. I know that's a little bit dull, but it is really important in this situation. So let's get to it. To help illustrate this point, what I've done is I've taken out some cilantro seeds, and these are easy to see on camera. So let's imagine we wanted a, a 10 plant row of cilantro seeds. So I'm going to lay these out. There's 6, 8, and 10. Well, would just planting 10 seeds be a good way to guarantee that that happens? Well, no, of course not, because no seed germinates at 100%, meaning that if we plant 10, there's a chance that some of these will fail. And let's imagine for just the sake of example that these cilantro seeds have a germination rate of 90%. That means that on average, one of these 10, let's imagine this guy right here, won't germinate. So we'll only have nine out of 10 on average that actually successfully germinate. Well, that's not acceptable. What if we wanted to guarantee that all of these germinated, or at least that we had a guaranteed 10 plants? So how do we do that? Well, let's go back to the initial example of a single seed. Okay, so here is one seed in one hole, right? 90% chance it germinates, 10% chance it doesn't. Maybe that 10% chance is a bit too high for us, so we want to we want to reduce that, but how do we do it? Okay, let's imagine we plant two seeds in that hole. Now, there's a 10% chance that they fail, each of them individually. So 10% times 10% is the chance that they both fail. That's one in a hundred. So now there's a 1% chance that they both fail. Well, maybe let's imagine we're being very picky that even that 1% chance is too high. So now let's add a third seed to the same hole. Now it's a 10% times 10% times 10% chance, which is a one in 1,000 percent, uh, one in 1,000 times these three won't germinate, all three of them. So 999 out of 1,000 times, some seed will germinate. Not necessarily all of them, but one or two or all three of them will germinate. So now let's get back to that original situation where we want a guaranteed 10 plants to germinate. Well, one good way to do it would actually be to plant 30 seeds, right? Three per hole to guarantee that you have one plant at least per hole to come out. And then what you can do from then on is then you can select the healthiest looking seedling and thin out from there. So what I'm doing here is, is I'm just mimicking a situation in which we have three plants per hole. So we're at seven, eight, nine up here, and 10. Now I know that's not very organized, but it's just for the sake of example. And so this would be a way to guarantee that we get uh, at least one plant per hole. And it would be exceptionally unlikely if we had any of these not germinate in the sense of we're guaranteed to get 10 plants out of this because it's a 9999 out of a, a thousand chance that something germinates in each of these holes based on that math that we did earlier. So now, why is that so beneficial? Well, that's beneficial, number one, because you can control the likelihood you get the plants that you want. So you can almost guarantee the exact amount of plants you want to grow, but also you get to thin out the weaker ones. So in most of these cases, let's imagine this one right here. Let's say all three of these seeds germinate right here. Well, we're not going to want all three necessarily. We might just want one, but not all seeds are the exact same, so maybe we want the healthiest one. Maybe we want the one that looks the strongest, the most vibrant, and the most full of life, and what we can do is just snip off with some garden shears the other two, and now not only do we have 10 plants that we really, really like, um, but we have 10 of the healthiest ones possible. We didn't just grow 10 random seeds and get 10 random uh, plants out of them. So that is a very simple explanation of how many plants or sorry seeds you should be planting per pot hole or cell when you're starting plants. So there we have it. How to know exactly how many seeds you should be planting 
in your little seed starter trays, in your rows, etc. if you want to guarantee you get a certain number of plants. It's basic probability, basic statistics, um, and it guarantees that you get what you want. And not only do you get what you want, you get the healthiest, most vibrant ones that you want. So hopefully that was helpful. Definitely let me know. And if you haven't noticed, I've got a bunch of basil drying up here as an experiment. So this is a lettuce leaf basil that I grew in a deep water culture system. Um, and it was, I mean, these look like individual basil plants, don't they? They're not. Th that, these are stems off of a single basil plant. So there's more coming up on this type of stuff on the channel. If you subscribe, if you hit like, and if you let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm doing a lot more on YouTube these days, so please just let me know in the comments. I respond to, I think, every comment I get, unless it's just like a, a rude comment. I don't respond to those. But in general, I do respond. So hit me up um, and go check out epicgardening.com if you haven't already. There's a bunch of good stuff on there too. So until next time, keep growing and good luck in the garden.